Hello and welcome to The Daily Show. Big shout out to uh, the new subscribers and if you're new to this channel, welcome. I'm Adam. This I'm is Eve. Eve. It's all really in this YouTube channel title. Even though really. Adam makes us constantly sit this way around because he's worried people are going to confuse us. <laughs> yeah, I can't let Eve sit here. Uh, but today is a very exciting day and it's making me feel very old. Because... Today is the 20th anniversary of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone being released. That book, I got that book. I remember that book coming out. Um, sorry, I've got this earpiece thing against annoying me. But you put it um, in like just seconds ago know, and then you take it, it no, out. No, I don't like it, so change my mind. Okay. Um, yeah, we had a teacher at school and she brought it to the class and she was like, it's this thing called Harry Potter, it's this new book, it's big in England. And we were like, oh, okay, and she read us the whole book word for word and we sat on the mat. Oh my gosh, yeah, yeah. I remember I got it for my ninth birthday from my Auntie Paula, yeah. I remember oh, exa exactly where shout I was. Out to Auntie Paula. Yeah, thanks, Auntie Paula, for that book. Thank now, you. we've got a couple of Harry Potter themed challenges on today's live mm -hmm. stream, as you can tell. It's called um, Trump versus Voldemort Challenge. Uh, so there's going to be a two truths, one lie, where you are involved and you can play. And we've also got a who said it, Trump or Voldemort. It's harder than you might think. But first, let's give a quick yes, Queen, to the woman who made the Harry Potter phenomenon. Yes, JK, JK Rowling. Rowling. So she famously wrote Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone when she was a single mom on a benefit and her manuscript was rejected by 12 different publishing companies before it eventually got picked up. If you Lucky were one of those 13. 12 people that said, nah, you would be oh, yeah. bleh, feeling sick like, I would be living in a mansion right now if I just gave that the green light. Yep. Um, but the first book went on to sell over 107 million copies worldwide. Now all up, the seven books have sold nearly half a billion copies, making them the most successful series ever. That's awesome. And J.K. Rowling, Joanne, I think is her name, was also the first billionaire female novelist, yep. but is no longer on that list because she's given over $160 million to charity. Which I think is amazing. Mm -hmm. um, and she was quoted, you have a moral responsibility when you've been given far more than you need. Uh, to do wise things with it and, uh, you know, give it away, basically. Give intelligently. I think yeah. she's an incredible woman. She's really outspoken and she's an activist for human rights and advocate as well. And she doesn't just sit in her mansion with all her money and watch the world go by. She's it would be pretty lonely if you did that, though, right? I if you just sat in your mansion. She seems like a cool person. Like, so, I want to have her around for dinner. JK, that's why you are our Yes Queen yes for this week. Yes Queen! Um, now, a quick shout out to people watching right now. Chelsea says, um, um, yes. Uh, Maddie says, sup. Um, Anonymous King says, can they see the chat? Yes, we can. Uh, Lexi so says, hello. Clean. Caitlin wants a shout out. Shout out. Um, Ethan Vlogs, she wants a shout out. Me awesome. I no. Uh, you, <laughs> <laughs> you just have things you can't say. You just yeah, I just don't want to say that. Online. Like. Okay, so it's time for Two Truths, One Lie. This is what you can play. Uh, I think it's probably going to be easier if you play live, but if you're watching this later, totally fine. You can let us know in the comments which of these facts, fact, facts about the movie is a lie. Okay. Num so the first one is mm -hmm. that the Warner Brothers were originally going to make Harry Potter and they were going to do it as an animated series, not as a live Like action. cartoons? Mm -hmm. Okay. Or uh, it could be B. In her first audition, Emma Watson dressed up as a teacher and um, rapped about why she wanted to play Hermione. And C, this is the third fact, J.K. Rowling originally thought that Daniel Radcliffe, Emma, Radcliffe, Emma Watson and Rupert Grant were too good looking to play Harry, Ron and Hermione. Mm. Okay, so, A, B, or C. A, B, or C. And we're going to reveal the answer at the end of the show. But yep. right now, we're going to get into our new game uh, on these cue cards that we have right here. Ooh. Have a quotes from two of the greatest villains in history Lord Voldemort from the Harry Potter series and President Donald Trump from the world's collective nightmares. Wow. <laughs> what are your political views, Adam? <laughs> I don't like to get into <laughs> politics too much, you know. <laughs> okay, I feel like you just yeah, did. Yeah, I kind of just take Let's do it. Back. Okay, this is the first one. What separates the winners from the losers is how a person reacts to each new twist of fate. I'm going to say... Say Voldemort. Yeah, because twist of fate feels quite mythical and yeah, formal. Yeah, tr Trump's not that intelligent. Is it Voldemort? Oh, my gosh! <laughs> okay. So, oh. part of them we okay, thought... Okay, what's quote number two? I can make bad things happen to people who annoy me. I can make them hurt if I want to. Oh. Trump. Oh, no, I'm saying Because annoy feels like such a piddly little word for annoy. A, the dark lord Voldemort. Annoy. Like annoy feels like too small a word. Okay, I'll go Trump. So I'm going to say Trump. Oh, 
Oh, we okay, suck at this sorry, game. Terrible. Okay. okay, third quote. I've always been able to charm the people I needed. That is Trump. Trump. I've always wanted to be able to charm the people I needed. Is it Trump? Trump. Oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> You've got what the heck, man? We are not from three. Oh. Okay, this is number four. Torture works, believe me, it works. Trump. Oh, because no, no, Trump no, Because Trump always no. goes, torture works, believe, believe me, me, it works. Like he That's repeats his, words. Okay, that is kind of his sentence structure. But torture is a pretty but hardcore a, word to yeah, use. Yeah, torture feels very... But I feel like it's his pattern of speech, though. Yeah, true that. Okay, let's go with Trump. Trump. <laughs> oh, yes. my gosh. But, oh my gosh, what it, the heck, Do you know hey? frightening how hard this game is? Number five, there is no good and evil. There is only power and those too weak to seek it. That's Voldemort. I remember that from the movies. Yeah, Vol yeah that's Vol Voldemort. Voldemort? Yeah. Yes, okay, okay so we good. Got now we're on a roll, Evie. Um, next one. He made a deal with the devil. She's the devil. Again, it's, he's repeating words. He made a deal with the devil. She's the devil. I think that's Trump. Yeah, that's what I mean. Because um, Voldemort didn't have it out for any particular women. Like, and he was mostly hated Harry. In the wizarding world, uh, is there such a thing as the devil? No. Because it's already... No, 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 yeah, true that. That's a concept unrelated to the books. Yeah, so okay, we're cool. going to go Trump. Yes! yes! High five! So okay, close. number seven. The point is, you can never be too greedy. Trump. Oh. But he... I must say Trump. But he's so greedy. That's, he said you can never be too greedy. Oh, right. <laughs> Saying that's the point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, Trump. And the point. He could use his fingers. Trump. Yeah. Oh, yes. Okay, what about this one? I'd introduce you, but rumour has it you're almost as famous as me these days. Voldemort. 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 Oh, my gosh. That was pretty wow. tough. Those, do... The ones at the start were tough. I feel like we should do one more. Do we have more? Yeah, there's a second cue card. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> do you want to do more? Yeah, okay. Have you guys had enough? Okay, we'll, do, we'll get to ten. Okay. Um, sometimes by losing a battle, you find a new way to win the war. Oh. Trump. Yeah, we'll go Trump. Yes, yeah. go okay. us. Last one. Ha, huh, spoken like a true politician. You will, I think, prove most useful. That's for Voldemort. That's Voldemort. Do you reckon? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to trust you. That's Voldemort. Yeah! Yes, oh my gosh, we, we got, got off to such a bad start. And then we brought it home, girl. We brought it home. That's one of my proudest moments with you. <laughs> Okay. Doing well in our own Trump versus Voldemort challenge. Yeah, go like it's our, us. It's our own, anyway, how did you do, how did you go? Let us know. Yeah, and also you've been letting us know about the two truths, one yes. life. So remember, these were the three, I guess, um, stories yeah. that we shared with you. And one of these is a lie. The first one was Warner Brothers were originally going to make the Harry Potter movies animated, not live action. Uh, the second one was in her. This is B in her first audition. Emma Watson dressed up as her teacher and rapped about why she wanted to play. Hermione. Well, see, J.K. Rowling originally thought that Daniel Radcliffe, Emma Watson, and Rupert Grant were all way too good looking to play Harry, Hermione, and Ron. Mm -hmm. One of these is a lie. Okay, how did you guys go? Okay, we've had okay. two votes. A lot of people are saying uh, B. Uh, Jasmine says B, Sophia says B. But then we've got Zoe Grace is A. Uh, Jasmine says C, and she's also, yeah, and Maddie says B. Dylan Fernandez says B. Um, okay, the answer is B. It was actually, though, Rupert Grint who auditioned by dressing as his teacher and rapping about why he wants to land the part of Ron Weasley. Um, unfortunately, this audition tape wow. hasn't surfaced. Probably great for him. But <laughs> his first screen test with Daniel and Emma has. Oh. I never thought to look in here. I checked this out first term. For a bit of light reading, this is life. Shut up. If Filch comes around that corner any second now, we are dead meat. Sorry. I knew it! Here it is! Nicholas Flamel is the only known maker of the Sorcerer's Stone. The what? what? Oh, honestly, don't you two read? Do you remember thinking... <laughs> Jerome's cats! What? We've got someone in the background like counting us down and it was like this. <laughs> Were they counting <laughs> up? Um, do you remember thinking that, because I, when that first book came out and then I heard they were making a movie, do you remember thinking like, oh my gosh, they're going to come to my primary school. Oh my gosh. In like Canterbury, New Zealand and they're going to find me. I was so <laughs> gutted. You just think I was, was so gutted it. when I heard that Daniel Radcliffe got that role <laughs> because we are the, are the same age and I thought, hey, 
I actually was in my school production last year, and I'm pretty sure I played Tigger in Winnie the Pooh, and I will be Harry Potter. I've got experience, and you I You just, can... like, you you have this weird belief. You're like, I'm going to be, I'm going to be at Hoyt Six in Hornby <laughs> one day in the line for popcorn, and a talent scout from Hollywood is going to see mm, me. You hear those stories gonna, about... They're going to put me in the movies. Um, Rachel from Friends, <laughs> how she got scouted, because she was, she worked at the cafe, eh? I don't think any of those, like, hardly any of those stories are true. But, yeah, you do hear, and, like, Keisha Castle-Hughes, she got found. She was in her classroom. Like, they didn't just, like, hunt her out. Yeah. Like, she must have had to put her name forward. But you, you think, like, oh, yeah, that could be That's not say, but watching that audition tape there, like, uh, Daniel Radcliffe and Rupert Grant, they didn't do much. <laughs> like, Emma Watson was leading that scene by herself. And if you watch Daniel Radcliffe in that, if you go back on YouTube and watch it, she, he's just like... <laughs> like, that's not acting. <laughs> Maybe it is. Maybe that's what we've been doing. Maybe we've been talking too much, and that's why we've never made it. On that note, I think we should end this live stream. We're um, just going to end it like this. Thank you. Oh. <laughs>